ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you to India Insight 2021. A quiz conceptualized by Vidyaniketan Public School from Bengaluru, not just for people across India, but for people across the world to celebrate India and to do that in a new medium, digitally. Presenting this quiz to all of you is a young talent, the only professional lady quiz host across Asia, who in 2020 by the Business Today group was recognized among the 40 under 40 emerging leaders and creators of engaging content from India. She is an alumnus of NITK Suratkal and has been a passionate educator, especially loves children. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome your host, Miss Rashmi Futado. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and all you dear children. Welcome to the India Inside Quiz, conceptualized by Vidyaniketan Public School in association with Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe. This is an initiative that was started by Mrs. Prema Rajagopal, the founder of Vidyaniketan Public School back in 2004. She did this to foster young minds to appreciate Indian culture and help build a nation where our youth are proud of our history and help and use those strengths to embrace the future. This year, this quiz has gone global. We had over 15,000 children taking part from nine countries in round one. From round one, we had 500 children qualifying to the second round. And today, we have the top 32 taking part or battling it out in the quarter final to fight for their positions in the semi-final. Before we move on, let me invite Mr. Vijay Krishna Rajagopal, an erudite leader and the director of the Vidyaniketan Public School to join us. He has over 15 years of experience as an academic and an educator. He holds a master's degree in education with honours from the University of Western Australia. A very good quizzer himself, he is the world runner-up of the World Teachers Quiz. Mr. Vijay, if you could please join us and share your thoughts. Dear students, welcome to India Insight online quiz. We are really happy that we are able to host the India Insight quiz online. This quiz was conceptualized in the year 2004 by our founder principal, late Srimati Prema Rajagopal. As a school, we always believed that children need to be instilled with the values and traditions of our great country. And this was the genesis of India Insight. We are really happy to note that many schools from the country are taking part. Also, there are many schools from abroad that are sending their students to participate in this global event. I wish all the students the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vijay. So without much ado, let me quickly introduce our quarterfinalists for today. First up, we have John Joseph from Bhavans Vidya Mandir Ernakulam. Alright, that's John. Following him is Jayant Kiran from Sri Shankara Senior Secondary School from Chennai. Alright, all smiles and high energy here. Coming up next is Kesha from Sri Kumaran's Children's Home from Bangalore. Following Kesha is Abhinav from PSBB LLA, Bengaluru again. Following Abhinav is Samar Yadav from Rukmini Devi Public School, Delhi. And we have Shrikhar from Lakshmipat Singanya Academy, West Bengal. And last but not the least, we have Rohit Raj from Indian Educational School in Kuwait. Yes, he joins us all the way from Kuwait. Good luck to all you guys. Do well. I have 10 questions for them here today. 
all 10 questions in the buzzer. What is going to happen is they get a plus one if they get it right, a minus one if they get it wrong. At any point in time, as I read out the question, if they press the buzzer, I will immediately stop reading the question because they are indicating to me that they know the answer and hence I stop reading the question. If they press the buzzer, I will call out their names, they will unmute, their, they will unmute themselves and speak. They cannot take more than three to five seconds to do that because if they do that, I will have to immediately give them a minus one. They, once they press the buzzer, they have to immediately give me an answer and cannot take time to think about the answer at that point in time. Only one attempt per question and at any point in time, if no one answers the question, the question stays alive for about five seconds and beyond that, the question will lapse and I will move to the next question. Rest of the rules have been explained to, this, to these quizzes here today. So let's move on with our quarterfinals. All right, good luck to all of you. Question number one of this quarterfinals, junior category, India Insight, coming up now. Tropic of Cancer passes through how many Indian states? Straightforward question. Tropic of Cancer passes through how many Indian states? All right, no one going on the buzzer there. The time has lapsed, five seconds of time. The answer I was looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is eight. Eight Indian states have Tropic of Cancer passing through them. Moving on to question number two. One thing to remember here, ladies and gentlemen, is four out of these kids will qualify to the semi-final. Let's see what happens. Question number two, here we go. Kathakali and Mohiniyattam are the classical dance forms of which... Stopping me, John, go ahead, give me an answer. Unless it's Kerala. Kerala plus one to you, you're absolutely right. Uh, he should have got it right, he's absolutely right. Plus one to you, he's from Kerala, he has to get that right. Okay, moving on to question number three, here we go. Chambal, Betwa and Hindon are three other tributaries of which river? Shrikhar on the buzzer, go ahead Shrikhar. Ganga. Ah, minus one Shrikhar, the answer I was looking for is Yamuna. Yamuna is the answer I was looking for. Uh, I, there could be some amount of confusion, I understand, but go back and check. Yamuna is the answer that I was looking for. Question number four, here we go. On which date was the national flag of India adopted by the Constituent Assembly in its present form? Okay, Rohit on the buzzer, go ahead, Rohit. 1947. 1947, can you tell me the date? I'm trying to push you. July 22nd. Wonderful, plus one, absolutely right. 22nd July 1947, the correct answer, the correct date when the Indian flag was adopted by a constituent assembly. Moving on to question number five. On the appeal of which industrialist, private usage of national flag of India was allowed in the year 2002 by the Supreme Court. This is not way back in history, this is 2002. While I do understand it could be history for you, but it's relatively not that long ago. I think I can make that remark. Okay, no one going on the buzzer there and the time lapsing, the question lapsing here. The answer I was looking for is Naveen Jindal. Naveen Jindal from JSW, the answer I was looking for. What you need to know here is uh, the national flag was, is allowed for private usage before that, but only during specific days. You are not allowed to flow, the, uh, you are not allowed to have the national flag uh, all through the year, but this industrialist fought for it and made it happen. Moving on to question number six of this quarterfinal. 
Indian classical dance form Kuchipudi belongs to which? Okay, that was quick. Shrikhar, go on. Andhra Pradesh. Plus one to you. You are absolutely right. Andhra Pradesh, the answer I was looking for. Moving on, question number seven. Here we go. Joke Falls in Karnataka is situated on which river? Most of you know where Joke Falls is, but which river? Okay, no one going on the buzzer there. I think a couple of questions here have been googlies. Okay, the answer I was looking for is Sharavati. Sharavati is the name of the river where you will find Joke Falls. Moving on to question number 8. Let me quickly tell you the scores before we move on to the next question. As of now, we have John on 1 and we have Rohit on 1. A very safe place to be. Let's see what happens. Unless one of them or both of them take a negative, I think they're safe as of now. Let's see what happens. Four people will move on to the semi-final. Question number 8. Here we go. The national anthem, Jana Gana Mana, was... Jayanth going on the buzzer, not allowing me to complete the question. Go ahead, Jayanth. Rabindranath Tagore. All right. So, before this quiz began, I was talking to these uh, quizzers on the risks of pressing the buzzer before you complete the question. Jayanth, minus one to you. That is not the question. That's not the answer I was looking for. The question is, National Anthem Jana Ganamana was first publicly sung on which date at Calcutta session of the Congress? I, I, I know for sure that you all are aware that it was written by Rabindranath Tagore. I wouldn't ask that easier question, not at this level of this quiz at all. Okay, moving on. The answer, by the way, is December 27th, 1911. Moving on, question number nine of this quarterfinal. Here we go. Which monument was built to commemorate the visit of King George V and Queen Mary to British India in 1911. John on the buzzer. Go ahead, John. Uh, Gateway of India. Gateway of India. Plus one to you. Absolutely right. He's on plus two with this. And I can say it's safe to say that he has made it to the semi-final already. All right. He's on two. And Rohit on one. That's where they stand. Two more places in the semi-final still remaining. And the last question of this quarter final. Let's see what happens. Which game originated in the northwestern India during the Gupta Empire, where it was known as Chaturanga in its early... Shrikar on the buzzer. Go ahead, Shrikar. I'm chess. Plus one to you. You're absolutely right. Chess is the answer I was looking for. And with that, Shrikar gets a plus one and he too qualifies to the semi-final. Okay, so we have three of them who have qualified, which is John, Shrikar and Rohit. One more place remaining in the semi-final. So what we are going to do now is we will have a tiebreaker between all those who are on nil. Uh, Jayant, I'm sorry you cannot take part in this tiebreaker since you're on minus one. But the rest of you which is uh, Keshav, Abhinav and Samarth, all three of you will fight for the last place in the semi-final. The rules of the game are pretty simple. It's the same thing as this quarter-final. But the point is, I will ask you the tiebreaker questions. One of you gets it right, you move on to the semi-final. If you get it wrong, the other two will continue to play the tiebreakers for the last place in the semi-final. Okay? So I hope you all are clear with the rules. Let me get my tiebreaker questions and then we can start the tiebreaker round for this quarter final all right i'm ready let's begin name india's first civil disobedience movement spearheaded by mahatma gandhi okay all right silence there none of them trying all right moving on uh, I think I'll find some other questions for them, just to be a little careful. Give me a moment. Okay, all right. The next tiebreaker question, here we go. A Bharat Ratna winner 
Long Walk to Freedom is his autobiography. Which famous leader am I talking about? Bharat Ratna Vina. Abhinav. Go ahead, Abhinav. Lal Bahadur Shastri. Oh, minus one, Abhinav. Minus one, that's not the answer. The answer is Nelson Mandela. Yes, he's a non-Indian, but he won a Bharat Ratna. That is what is, that is the reason I asked that question in this quiz. Okay, so with this, we have Samarth and Keshav both in this tiebreaker. The next tiebreaker question, here we go. The Accidental Prime Minister is a book about which Prime Minister in this world? Oh, come on, that's not so difficult. The Accidental Prime Minister. It's a book about which Prime Minister in this world. I need a name of a person, not the country. I mean, it's quite obvious, isn't it? We are in an India quiz. Okay, neither Keshav nor Samarth are trying. The answer I was looking for, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Which Prime Minister of India wrote the discovery of India? Samarth on the buzzer. Go ahead, Samarth. Ma'am, the answer is Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. You are absolutely right. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the answer I was looking for. Plus one to you and with that you qualify to the semi-final. Good work, all of you. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have our four semi-finalists. John from Bhavans Vidya Mandir, Kerala. We have... Uh, Samarth from Rukmini Devi Public School in Delhi. We have Shrikhar from Lakshmi Pad Singhani Academy in West Bengal. And Rohit from Indian Educational School, Kuwait. Different geographies and all of them have qualified to the semi-final. Thank you so much for joining us for this quarter-final, ladies and gentlemen. But stay tuned. We have another quarter-final coming right up for you. And we will see you there. You take care. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the fourth quarter final of the India Inside Quiz conceptualized by the Vidyaniketan Public School in association with Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe. We are at the fourth quarter final and these kids have qualified from over 15,000 kids across nine countries who took part. So they are already winners if you ask me. But we still have to go ahead and go on with our game here today. We have eight of them here today and only four of them will qualify to the semi-final. Let me quickly introduce them to all of you. Starting with Navamalika Jasmi. She's from Indian school Algobra Muscat. Navamalika, could you just uh, wave? All right, that's Navamalika for you. Coming up next is Hanisha Chawla from Indian School Al Gubra Muscat again. All right, up next is Johan Gladson from Indian School Al Wadi Al Kabir Muscat. Up next, we have Ashwati Sajeev from Indian School Al Sib Muscat. Following her is Suraj Nayar from Birla Public School Qatar. Next up, we have Emmanuel Koshi from Noble International School, Doha, Qatar. Ram Ganesh from Birla Public School, Al Wakra, Doha. And finally, last but not the least, we have Nirmay from Dubai International Academy, Dubai. All right, if you all have observed, yes, the quiz has gone global, and all these kids are from locations outside of India. Let's move on to the quiz itself. The rules of the game. 10 questions is what I have for all of you. All 10 questions on the buzzer. You press the buzzer, your name appears and I will call out your name. At that point in time, you unmute yourself and give me the answer. If you get it right, you get a plus one. You get it wrong, you get a minus one. You cannot take time to think about the answer once you have pressed the buzzer. You'll have to immediately give me the answer. No two attempts on questions, only a single attempt. Also, the question will stay valid 
for about five to seven seconds after I have asked the question. Beyond that, if no one presses the buzzer, the question will lapse and we will move on to the next question of this quarter final. Rest of the rules have been explained to these kids already. So let us move into the quarter final here today. I can't wait to see which one of them will qualify to the semi final. Remember, four of them qualify to the semi final from this round. All right, so let's begin. I will read out the questions so nothing appears on screen. They will have to listen to what I have to say. All right, so if all of you are ready, let us start with this quarter final. First question, good luck to all of you. Here we go. Shore Temple of Mahabalipuram was built under which dynasty? All right, Ram Ganesh on the buzzer. Go on, Ram Ganesh. Pallava dynasty. Pallava dynasty, no nonsense answer. Plus one to you, absolutely right. Plus one, Pallava dynasty, the answer I was looking for. Wonderful. Moving on, question number two. Here we go. From which city did the 1857 Sepoy mutiny begin? The Sepoy mutiny in 1857. Which city in India did it begin? Ah, okay. Ram Ganesh again. Go on. Meerut. Meerut. Plus one to you. You're right, he's already on plus two. And I have eight more questions remaining. Let's see what happens. Okay, moving on to question number three of this quarter final. The Kajuraho group of monuments were built under which dynasty? Okay, no one trying there. Absolute silence. The answer I was looking for is the Chandela dynasty. Okay, let's move on to question number four. The first stanza of which Bengali poem written by Rabindranath Tagore was adopted as the national anthem of India? The title of the poem, Johan, go ahead. Janaganamana. Ah, that is where I think you got a little confused, Johan. Minus one to you, I said the title of the Bengali poem. Chanagana Mahana is the first stanza that was adopted as a national anthem. The answer I was looking for is Bharato Bhagyo Vidata. That is the answer I was looking for. I had a feeling one of you will get a little confused with this question. Anyway, we have five more questions to go. So let's see what happens. He can very easily negate that minus one and get into the positive. So let's see. Question number five, here we go. Out of Narmada, Kaveri and Krishna, which river drains into the Arabian Sea? Geography. All right, no one trying, time lapsing here. The answer I was looking for is Narmada. Narmada is the one that drains into the Arabian Sea while Kaveri and Krishna drain into the Bay of Bengal. All right, moving on to question number six. Here we go. Name the architect who designed the Red Fort. Okay. All right, time's up. Question lapsing. I thought you guys would press the buzzer very quickly for this. Anyway, the answer I was looking for, Ustad Ahmad Lahori. But the, thing, the point here, ladies and gentlemen, is that they are playing their strategies right. They at least don't want to take a negative. They are okay with nil because it's a little easier to build onto the positive scores from nil. But if you get a negative, you have to again ensure that you, would, you know, negate your scores and then come back into the positives. All right. Moving on to question number seven. As of now, the scores, we have Ram Ganesh on two and Johan on minus one. Rest of them all on nil. Johan still has a very good chance. We have four more questions remaining. So let's see what happens. Question number seven. Here we go. Battle of Talikota, which led to the establishment of Muslim rule in South India, was fought between Deccan Sultanates and which Hindu Empire. 
Talikota, T A L I K O T A. Now, Malika, go on. You're on the buzzer. Vijayanagar Empire. Vijayanagar Empire plus one to you. You're absolutely right. It is not very difficult to deduce either. Back then, the Vijayanagar Empire was this very, very strong empire of South Southern India. Plus one to you. Absolutely right. Moving on to question number eight of this quarter final. Here we go. Which festival is held in the first week of December every year in the state of Nagaland to promote cultural heritage and inter-tribal interaction? Oh. Just when I was about to say the time's up, Hanisha, go on, you're on the buzzer. Is it the Hornbill Festival? Plus one to you, you're absolutely right. Hornbill Festival, the answer I was looking for. Plus one is what Hanisha gets. All right, two more questions remaining. So before we move on, let me quickly tell you where all of our quarter finalists stand. Ram Ganesh is on two. Hanisha and Navalika are on one apiece. Johan is still on minus one. He still has a very good chance. Two more questions to go. He can very easily negate it and then get a plus one. Right now, all of them have an equal chance. Unless, of course, now Malika and Hanisha decide to take a minus one, which I don't think will happen at this point in time. So let's see what happens. All right. Question number nine. Here we go. Indian festivals such as Makar Sankranti, Pongal and Chhat Puja are dedicated to which deity? Ram Ganesh on the buzzer again. Go ahead. Sun God. Sun God. Plus one to you. You are absolutely right. Surya Dev or Sun God. Plus one to you. He is on three. And I think it's safe to say he has made it to the semi-final. And uh, as far as now Malik and Hanisha go, looks like they have kept their buzzers far away and they don't want to even touch the buzzers by mistake. Okay, last question remaining and one last spot in the semi-final remaining. Let's see what happens. This is very interesting. All right, question number 10. Here we go. Name the southernmost point of Indian mainland. Okay, we have Ram Ganesh on the buzzer again. Yes, Ram Ganesh. Kanyakumari. Plus one to you, you're absolutely right. Kanyakumari or Cape Comoran both would give you the, the plus one. You're absolutely right, Kanyakumari. All right. Okay, so we have Ram Ganesh, Navmalika, and Hanisha who have all made it to the semi final. But we are yet to identify our last semi finalists. So now what we are going to do is we are going to get into a tiebreaker. Unfortunately, Johan, you cannot take part in this tiebreaker because you are already on minus one and only the ones who are on nil, who are Ashwati, Suraj, Emmanuel and Nirme. These four are the only ones who can take part in the tiebreaker. Uh, Ram Ganesh, Navmalika and Hanisha, please keep your buzzers away. You do not require the buzzers anymore. Uh, Johan, even you can keep your buzzer away because you, you cannot take part in the uh, tiebreaker. Ashwati, Suraj, Emmanuel and Nirmay, all four of you are on the tiebreaker. Rules of the tiebreaker are pretty much the same as the quarterfinal. The only difference being, if you get a plus one, you automatically occupy the fourth and the last spot in the semi-final. If you get a minus one, you will be out or you will be disqualified, not disqualified, you will be out of the tiebreaker and the rest three will continue to battle, battle it out for the last spot in the semi-final. All right, the quarter, the tiebreaker for this quarter final, the first tiebreaker, here we go. In which city of India is the Baha'i temple located? Oh, that's an easy one. Come on. Okay, no one trying. The answer I was looking I think one of, one of Hanisha and, and Navmalik, I saw someone smiling. I think you guys know the answer, but you can't try. The answer I was looking for is Delhi. The Baha'i temple or the lotus temple is located in Delhi. 
Maybe if I had said the Lotus Temple, you would have probably cracked it, but that's, that was my choice of words. Baha'i Temple is what I went for. All right, the next tiebreaker. Which state of India would you associate to the Bhangra dance? Emmanuel on the buzzer. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Punjab. Punjab. Plus one to you. You are absolutely right. Punjab is the answer I was looking for. And with that, Emmanuel makes it to the semi final. He has taken the last spot from the semi final here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Four of our semi finalists who have qualified from this quarter final. Nav Malika, Hanisha, Emmanuel and Ram Ganesh. Congratulations to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this quarter final. Up next are semi finals. So ensure that you come back to watch the semi final. I promise you a very, very interesting set of quizzes that we will have for the semi final. So be back and take care.